I have made a big mistake. <sighs> I have been ignoring something to the point where it's actually caused me quite big problems and I'm going to get into it. It's going to be a very, very different video for me this week. Well, it's not. I'm being dramatic. <laughs> it's just not going to be me running, getting hot and sweaty outside because I'm not too sure when I'm going to be doing that again. That sounds really extra dramatic, doesn't it? But it's it is what it is i'll get into it <laughs> if this is the first video of mine that you have come across though i am going to give you a little bit of background before i start because i feel like i just need to set myself aside from all the other running youtubers give a little bit of context as to why i feel like you should be sticking around my name is lucy and i have been on a running and weight loss journey since february 2020 back then i weighed 230 pounds and i couldn't run for more than 30 seconds at a time i looked online to try and find someone who had been in that position and managed to become a runner. I needed to see someone just like me go through the struggles that I was going through and ended up on the other side just so I knew that it was possible for me. Unfortunately I couldn't find that honest relatable runner that I desperately needed at the time. Cut a very long story short I've ran a lot of miles and I've lost a lot of weight and I have decided to become that youtuber that I needed to see way back then and still do need to see to be honest. Right, let's get into my mistakes because mistakes have been made. <laughs> so I have a general rule when it comes to trainers. I have Coco Clifton nines and I have been absolutely in love with them to the point where I very nearly repurchased them about a month or so back. But when I got my original pair, it was a long time ago. I normally have my trainers for a roughly four months or 400 miles. That's the loose rule. Now I don't always stick to that as you can tell because I've had my Hoga Clifton nines now for way more than four months potentially even double that. Now I was getting on really well, absolutely loving them, enjoying every run that I did in them, really comfortable. But obviously as time goes on, the trainers, they don't last. <laughs> they do wear down. And I did feel like a couple months ago, I, they were at the end of their life and I probably should have repurchased them or got another new pair way back then. It was probably, if I'm being honest, overdue even just a couple months ago. <laughs> but since then, I have delayed purchasing some new trainers because when I tried to repurchase them, they didn't have the right color and they didn't, you know, they didn't wow me. And I feel like running trainers are so expensive. I think these ones are like 130 pound. I feel like that's just something you don't just buy without actually loving. I mean, I love the trainer, but if, if it's just all over white or all over black. I like to have a little bit of color in there. It's just just me. I just like to have colorful trainers. So I decided, well, I'm gonna wait because I'm not 100% sure on these trainers and I didn't have time to shop around for other brands. During that month, my ankle was very sore after the runs. Every time I was running in the trainers, they felt absolutely fine. Once I've taken them off, almost straight after the run, as soon as the trainer comes off and I start walking, I could feel it. Now, it was at the bottom of my foot and kind of up the back almost of my foot. There are other parts of my ankle as well that I'm feeling a little bit of strain, some soreness. Now throughout that month, so I'm a month overdue of trainers and every time I run I've got this pain and it doesn't last long and basically by the end of the day it's gone and I'm absolutely fine. So last month comes around and I've already spoken to my husband. If you are new, my husband is an insane runner. He's military PTI, Iron Man. He's ran 100 mile races. He actually came second place in his second ever 100 miler. He's just insane. Okay, he knows he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> but basically he's told me that I definitely need new trainers. I cannot keep running in those trainers. And I, of course, didn't listen because I was like, well, I'm going to get new ones. So I'll just keep using these until I get new ones. But in the last month, I have I've even asked you guys you know recommendations because it's like you know I really need to start looking at getting some trainers now it's getting bad in the last month I've finishing my runs taking my trainers off they've been hurting they've been hurting a little bit more and the pain has been lasting a long time yesterday so Monday Monday the 10th of June because I'm filming this on the 11th I took Storm for a two mile run and I wore my Nike trainers these are the ones that I had on they are 
tried and trusted. I really like them. I like to pick up the pace in these ones. These aren't really an easy pace run type of trainer, <laughs> but I put those on because I wanted to pick the pace up a little bit, which I did and I felt fantastic. I had a really good run. I didn't vlog any of it, but yeah, I had a really good run considering it was at that pace. I only was out the house for under 20 minutes running with the dog. And when I got back in different trainers, I was expecting for my foot not to hurt. But when I took the trainer off, they really hurt and it's kind of been aching and hurting ever since. Even as I'm sat here, I can feel my foot aching and I can't walk around the house without my slippers or my Crocs on. I have to have something cushioning my feet because it's that sore. Yeah. I'm obviously taking today as a rest day. I'm probably gonna take the next few days as a rest day. It's really sore, I'm really worried, and I just wanted to update you guys. This is the reality sometimes. I've been so lucky staying injury free throughout the majority of my running journey. I've been doing this for about four years and I've, I have had shin splints. I have had other niggles and aches and pains and things that have taken me away from training, but, yeah, this this one's really getting getting to me now. And I also feel like this is 100% my fault because I knew I should have bought new trainers. I knew I needed the trainers. The last month, Matt was on my case about getting new trainers. And I was in a situation where we'd spent a lot of money that month. Lots of things have come up and we weren't really in a position for me to just uh, on a whim get some trainers, even though it's not really on a whim, like they are needed. I just couldn't justify it. There's something that I really, really, really wanna do on my birthday. I, there's somewhere that I really want Matt and I to go to celebrate my birthday this year. My birthday isn't in until the end of September. This place that I wanted to go to, you really need to book, book in advance and the price for us to book this day trip is about the same price as the trainers and we basically stood there and said look you're either gonna book your birthday day trip or you're gonna buy yourself some trainers because we weren't in a position that month to get both we just weren't I was in a position where I was like okay so I need the trainers now it's getting really bad but if I don't book this day trip, then it's not going to be available by, by next month. By next payday, that is going to be gone. The time slot I want is going to be gone. I was in a bit of a situation and I decided I'm going to book the day trip for my birthday. So I know that that's secure. And then I'm just going to keep going with my trainers until payday. And it's now midway through June. I've potentially made a mistake there. I really, really, <laughs> I feel like maybe I should have got the new trainers. Anyway, I should have got new trainers long, long ago. As I always say, I don't want to show and talk about the realities, the everyday average person getting out there and just doing their best. And this is what comes up. I'm really disappointed that I've done this and I would never tell any of you guys to just ignore it. But obviously there is a financial reason behind it as well. It's not always a case of, you know, I'm due new trainers and therefore I will get them. When I was actually due them, I could afford them at that time, but because I kept delaying it, during that time, lots of things went wrong for us. Our washing machine packed up, our car needed a service in MOT. There was like lots of things like that was happening around us. You know, these sort of expenses that you wouldn't normally have every single month they they were coming thick and fast like things were just going wrong and i was prioritizing other things because i'm still enjoying my trainers so i'm just like in a bit of a like a i don't want to get new ones because i love these but they were hurting me and i was ignoring it they were i was absolutely ignoring it i was due a new pair for at least two months let me know in the comments below if you've had a scenario like this if you've had like a niggle or an ache or a pain have you ignored it and what has happened i would actually be really interested to know in the comments what your guys's experience are when it comes to this sort of thing i never ignore aches and pains usually and i would never obviously tell you guys to at all so i'm very surprised at how laid back I've been there. I'm very disappointed in myself. I'll be doing some extra stretching and things and hopefully everything's gonna be fine. So that's just my update and I'm sorry it's not like a normal video, but this is my everyday and this is what happens. And this is what's happened. So I'm not gonna pretend that I'm out here running, smashing distances and doing incredible things because I'm not, because this is the real life and I've hurt myself and it's my fault. So <laughs> 
I also just want to take this moment, if you've made it to the end of this video, to say a thank you for joining me in all of these videos. You guys are such a blessing in my life. All the comments that you guys leave, the thumbs up that you give me, even if you are just a silent viewer, you don't give a thumbs up, you don't comment, you just watch, hey, I get it and I still absolutely adore you because even just sitting and watching a video is a thousand times more than I thought would have been possible for this channel. I am absolutely overwhelmed by the, the audience that I have I'm so 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 grateful because there are some channels out there that just don't get this kind of support and yeah you guys are literally the best I just want to give you a big thank you I'm going to crack on I am going to film a weekly vlog this week so on Friday you will see how my week ended up but I just wanted to give you this sit down update so yes if you can can you please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out and obviously let me know in the comments below if you have the experience that i have of ignoring things and please tell me how it went and how bad it got how long you waited <laughs> hopefully that might put someone else off if they see that in the comments and they might listen to their body and not be like us <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon for some more updates bye guys <laughs>